project and uh, here <clears throat> I'm starting Eclipse so here uh, opening Eclipse and here whenever you are working with the maps v2 you should have internet connection first of all in your system remember that one now I'm creating project here Android application project maps v2 demo given the package name is com.rom.maps v2 demo and create in the project after creating project next we need to download google play services package from the SDK manager so here maps v2 programming we are doing from the uh, google play services library so that one we are downloading from the uh, SDK manager so we need to run the SDK manager from window menu and here you can run the SDK manager at this time you should have an internet connection already I told you so here under extras folder we will get the package called google play services library you see it was already installed right in your system how you are going to install select this one and other packages were selected just I'm deselecting them like this so you'll find under extras folder google play services package select that package and click install one package and we are going to install that one so select this accept and install and after installing we need to check first of all this google play services package successfully downloaded or not from where we can check right in your system where is your sdk folder has been located you need to open that folder inside you can find this google play services folder we will check that one once so in my system where is my ADT bundle that means the sdk folder we are having inside ADT bundle only so window uh, in windows uh, in windows operating system go to the window menu here you will find the preferences option but in the mac here edit and preferences you click on android then it will give you the location applications software edit bundle mac now so that i am opening applications in your uh, in, suppose if you are using windows then in each drive you have stored that edit bundle you can open that one right applications then here uh, softwares so that here we have a softwares in that uh, edit bundle we have so many edit bundles which one okay let us see clearly uh, just wait edit bundle uh, 17 and 30 let us have a look once preferences android and this is 17 so that uh, here 17 this one here stk folder and here you will see uh, extras folder open that extras folder automatically if google play services package was downloaded successfully you will find this folder open that google folder and here we have a google play services folder and inside you will find the library project library project so this library project we need to import into our eclipse and it will give you the library that library we need to add to our project then you can do the programming for maps so we need to import that library project now how we are importing right click under package explorer select import option and under android you will select existing android code into workspace then browse from where we need to browse now only we have seen applications where is your edit bundle open that one in your system so that here we have a folder software folder open that one here we have a edit bundle folder this one and sdk folder and inside extras folder google inside google play services library project open and finish so it was imported to the eclipse next right click on the maps project and select properties this is the concept after importing library project into the eclipse we need to add the google play services library to our process so right click properties click on android and you will see the library option under library click on add then select this one ok and apply ok 
after adding library again we need to check whether that library was added successfully or not this is a problem most of the developers nowadays facing so that's why here i'm making another video for this again right click select properties and here you'll see the green uh, the mark <coughs> that means it was added successfully but uh, in windows operating system you will get an error compulsory in every uh, that means every developer is getting error here for that i am giving this solution so if you get error here then what you need to do click on this one and say remove and after that say okay and delete this library project from the eclipse so delete option we are selecting don't select the delete project contents on the disk option if you are selecting this one it is deleting uh, library project from the SDK folder so that don't select this one just to say ok now it is deleting here the next step is you need to go to the say merit bundle folder copy this library project and paste in your workspace so this is the workspace I am pasting here library project from here you need to import the library project into Eclipse again I am repeating after adding the library you need to check right click properties android here if you are getting error after adding library again we need to check if you are getting error so remove that library project here copy the library project from the sdk folder and paste in your current uh, eclipse workspace folder sir why we are getting error we are getting error because of the path the lengthy path is there that's why it is unable to get the library from there that's why so this is the problem you are facing that's why here i am giving the solution so that copy that library project from the edit bundle folder in your uh, drive where you have stored that one and paste in your current eclipse workspace folder suppose my current eclipse workspace folder is this one i have pasted here from here we need to import again import option is the same story right click import existing android code into workspace and here where on the desktop i have a my workspace folder is project and library project open and finish now now you need to add the library to the maps project so click on android say add now ok apply and ok again we need to check right click properties so now you are not going to get any error here now this is clearly i'm explaining in windows map maybe you're not going to have a problem in any operating system you have a problem like this the same procedure now what we have perform so just hit ok so library project was added to the project next concept is for maps we need to get the api key so from where we are getting the api key uh, we need to register our application in the google api console from the google there it uh, it is generating the api key for our application so that first of all you need to log into the google api console website so you can open that website just to type in the google uh, Google uh, API console then you will get the website so here I am typing Google uh, API console <coughs> so here you will get API console concept is we are registering our application in the Google Google is giving our one key for us API key we are going to call it, maps API key that one we are uh, using in our application so whenever you are running the maps related applications compulsory we should have internet connection so whenever we are running our application it is sending the request to the google with the key and google is verifying the key from our application it is giving the response response as a maps so here we need to sign in with your google account so i'm going to sign in with my google account next uh, password and sign in after sign in Ramu Ramu door close Emma after sign in then uh, just uh, click on here and directly you will get this uh, console after sign in then select this create project then project name provide suppose uh, I am providing the project name is maps v2 demo then say create then it is creating the application once it is created the application automatically it's going to open the project 
here we can check it out uh, maps v2 demo right now it's created after creating it is going to open this page under this page we need to select apis and authentication once you selected apis and authentication then uh, you will get all these services these services from the uh, google so google is providing these many services so here we want to use the map service so that in this list we need to activate the google maps android api v2 here you will find it out google maps android api v2 we are going to turn it on we are activating the service for our account so it is activated next you need to select credential option after selecting credential option it will give you this page here you need to select create new key and in this window you need to select android key now in this box we need to provide sha1 certificate fingerprint key uh, and a package name separated by semicolon so that where we can find this SHA1 certificate key go to your Eclipse and uh, open your preferences in Windows operating system in Eclipse you will find the preferences under window menu so in Mac under ADT menu preferences open Android then you will find an option build here you will find it out as SHA1 fingerprint key copy and go to the website so in this box provide the key and after you need to provide semicolon and we need to again uh, we need to provide our application package name anywhere uh, in your application you can take the package name so this is the package name we are taking copy and uh, we are going to paste it here after pasting just uh, hit create now it has created the api key for our application so this one we are going to use now the next step is we need to write a program to display the map in our application so for that purpose you can go to the documentation is provided by the google or otherwise simply can go to my blog they will find everything so just in the google type rams android that's it then you will get my blog open this after opening my blog Right. you see right side under popular post you will get google maps android api v2 so what we are doing here in this video and you will get as a here post in my blog clearly so when version 2 was released when version 1 was deprecated so we can run the maps application in the mobile so clearly i mentioned here output you are getting like this and step by step what we are doing now you will get here now so here only programming is available you should take that one so first of all uh, you can see here manifest.xml so from here we are taking the packages so clear uh, permissions so clearly what kind of permissions you need to take what kind of tags you need to add in your manifest file those tags you are taking from here now so I kept in yellow color clearly so copy this after copy in our application we are opening manifest file in a manifest file we are pasting these permissions so here clearly I mentioned here uh, we need to provide the package name so select the package name here and we are providing the package name and here also we are providing the package name. next go to my blog under application tag add these two metadata tags so under application tag we are adding the metadata tags here you will see and the second metadata tag we need to paste uh, our api key here so already we have a api key here we generated copy that one and paste it here <coughs> and save it and after that under uh, xml file we have xml layout file suppose uh, activity underscore main so here you need to take the tag uh, called fragment tag so that my xml file is this one i'm changing the layout to linear layout so right click selecting change layout option so here i'm changing my layout to linear layout and we don't need any paddings here so i'm deleting the paddings save it after that uh, we are taking the fragment tag and we are adding fragment tag here after adding fragment tag you will see this xml and this vocabulary you need to take and paste in the root tag so here we are pasting here 
save it that's it so this is the program we need to write for displaying the maps now so here right click on the project can say run as android application no need to write any java programming here so this is the procedure we need to perform to display the maps v2 so right click on the project you can say run as android application note down one thing it cannot run in the emulator that's why we are going to check in the real device only so it is run uh, i'm going to run in my mobile and i'll show you the output first of all in your mobile you should have internet connection so I activated the internet in my mobile now so after activating right click run as android application so automatically it will ask you you want to run an application in your real time device uh, so that i'm checking first of all it was connected or not it was connected <coughs> so that java So select that, yes, sir, I am using Micromax mobile, select that one. Then uh, it is installing in my mobile. So it is giving the map in my mobile and I will show you that output here, you will see here the screenshot from my mobile now see our project is maps v2 demo it's a clearly map came <clears throat> so this is the procedure we need to do or work with the maps thank you for watching my video and you can check more video and uh, uh, other programs in my blog so these are my blog rams and for all dot uh, blogspot id so here you will find nearly 132 programs from basic uh, intermediate and uh, advanced standard programs, web services, some other programs. You can join here using this, join this site and automatically if anything I'm uploading in my blog, I'll receive those as a email. Thanks for watching and uh, we can download the tutorial applications from the Google Play also. Just uh, go to the play.google.com and type here Android Basics tutorial so you'll find my channel there and here you'll see android basics tutorial second one you can select that one then uh, you'll find my other applications on the installation maps and uh, my blog as a mobile application or otherwise you can open any application here open any application in the uh, any application in the play store and uh, ending you can type the package name to find out my application directly com dot ram dot android basics tutorial then automatically it will give you my application and you will get my channel also here right thank you for watching have a nice day